So this particular morning, we went to a place called Paseo Tech Shopping Center, and it was just after a morning walk. We decided to walk through this、uh, area to get some food. There's a really nice bridge that you can take photos with. It's very popular. We didn't hang so much on this side per se, but there's a lot of restaurants here as well, like KFC and some of the other places that you see here. And it's a really nice place to hang out, but it was kind of empty due to COVID. There were some restaurants open. We decided to get some sushi and then go out for some ice cream afterwards at、uh, Helado Sotana. This is one of my favorite places to get fruits while I was in Nuevo Repueblo, and they usually have fresh fruits for pretty cheap. So I remember I got some mangoes and bananas for about three dollars or sixty pesos. And then I also went to Parque Fundidora that day. As you can see, there weren't any boats or ferry rides for the people, and the water was kind of empty too. I just got through the Parque Fundidora at the entrance, and they took the temperature, and then they also gave us some hand sanitizer. So as we're walking, you notice that there's not a lot of water here. They turned off all the systems, and it's been raining a lot recently. Two or three days, so the sky has been a little bit gray and dark, but the air is very、really、fresh. Today is actually the first day that the sun came out, and what is today? Jueves? No, it is Miércoles. So Wednesday, and they also roped off some of the equipment over there for kids to play or exercise, so you can't do that. The only thing you can do is probably walk around and take some photos and explore a little bit. We're gonna explore a little bit further and see if anything else is open. Maybe there's something else, but I, there's not a lot of hope. <laughs> so let's go. So this is us walking through more of Parque Fundidora. You can see there's people that are rollerblading. There's some people that are riding their bicycles, running that sort of thing.、Um, the thing that you see off in the distance is a place called Orno Three. I believe it used to be a factory of some sort, but then there's a restaurant now inside, and there's、uh, I think a vista point where you can just look down at the city. But we were just walking by, and you know. I've never actually been to the top, but I'd like to go to one day. <laughs> so after Parque Fundidora, we walked to this place called Paseo Santa Lucia. There's a restaurant down there, but it doesn't look like they're operational anymore. And this is one of the first places I stayed at when I first got the Monterrey, Mexico. And so I wanted to visit and just check it out. But I all found I also found out that that cafe and Airbnb had closed. And this is just a little bit further down. You can see the bridge that we were standing at over there. But this is a nice point for a photo. A lot of people take their photos here because it's very popular. And you can see, of course, my photo. <laughs> I also have another one as well, but this one is a little bit better, I think. And that's the museum in the background. Now, in front of the Mexican museum, you can see that there's a body of water down there where people would get on their ferries or boats to go on the river walk. And in this particular day, there weren't that many shops open. There were some, just like this one, but there weren't that many because I believe it was just flooding day earlier. Now we were walking through the plaza at night, and the lamps literally just came on as we were walking through. And so it was a really nice experience just walking through the sunset and just seeing the city light up at night. Of course, you can't forget about the elote. This is one of my favorite spots called Elote Amigo. And、uh, love it. <laughs> so I'm making my way to the park here. It's called Parque Roma, and、uh, you can see some of the things that are happening this morning.、Uh, there's guys driving around a truck advertising things like one of the stores. I guess they rent microwaves, microwaves, refrigerators, things like that. But they drive around the neighborhood with their truck and like a microphone or something. So you can see it in the video. And then the、uh, trash guys here—they ring a bell so that you know they're coming. That way, you can bring out your trash or、uh, just in time, you know. <laughs> But I'm making my way to the park now. I'll grab some more footage here for you guys. It's、um, things are getting back to normal. It seems today's actually Thursday, 
and uh, there's a market in front of my house and uh, I'll show you guys here in a little bit but I'm gonna do some reading here in the park and just relax a little bit and then grab some lunch after this yep So I'm hanging at the park just reading my book and just enjoying the sights, sitting under a tree, you know, the little things. There's a lot of folks around here who exercise um, around this park. It's pretty big. A lot of uh, park benches, uh, a jungle gym, and some uh, a basketball court as well. So it's a nice spot to relax. And I, that's what I like about Mexico. There's always these public places where people go, kind of like a central place to gather. Uh, it's public and it, everybody has access to it, so it's not like... You have to go to a restaurant or anything like that. I just like that kind of thing. And it's pretty colorful, pretty peaceful. A lot of green, especially after all, after all the rain that we've received recently. And um, I'm going to actually just walk around here and show you guys more of the park. And then head back to the open air market that's around my street today. So you guys get a better idea. So later we stopped by this place called Ali Ali to get some poke bowl. And it was really good. I think a bowl was like uh, uh, five or six dollars, more or less. <laughs> so literally, our our host at the Airbnb, uh, she has some kind of problem with the property, and so we have to leave. And she, they're, she's moving us to another property in San Nicolas de la Garza, which is north of here. So we're taking an Uber to get there. As you can see, I have all my stuff here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Yeah, we're waiting for the Uber now. So I'll clear you guys up more on the situation once I get a chance. It's uh, I don't make this stuff up, it happens. <laughs> so, just got to my new apartment. Uh, it's a lot better, as you can see. A lot more room here. Uh, we got a whole kitchen. Um, looks like a balcony in the back here. I haven't checked it out yet. But it's definitely an improvement from what we had before. Got washer dryer. Looks like there's some space for a little bit of, uh, you know, extracurricular activities outside. If you're into that. And there's a bathroom here. And then there's also this is the bedroom. Yeah, pretty good stuff here. And then another bathroom here. So it's pretty good. It's a pretty good place for considering what just happened. So basically, as I understand it, they had a dispute about the property itself, right? So the girl that rented it to us, the host, she understood that it was her property. And she's, I think she's the wife. She's the wife of uh, one of the family members there. But uh, the, the senora who, who owns like the whole block is like the representative of the, the, the grandfather who lives in the United States, actually. So, I don't know what the dispute is about, but we knew we had to get out of there because it's hard to find an Airbnb this late in the day. So, thankfully, uh, she's hooked us up with this place, and uh, here we are now, getting settled in, and just uh, gonna have some food because we haven't eaten since uh, probably noon or one today. So, I'll tell you guys more about it. I'm gonna get settled in here. Just wanted to show you the place before. After eating our dinner that we got from that poke bowl place, we walked around in the evening and this is Popo's Tacos, one of the most famous places. And we also found a fruteria which sells some really good fruit. This little batch here was about $10 or 205 pesos. So this is Parque Fundidora and it's a place where a lot of people hang out because there's a lot of benches. There's lights on at night at both places and beautiful for photo ops. This was a mural that we saw in the Paseo Santa Lucia. And last of all, thanks so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourself and other people and see you next time. Bye.